Today we're editing photos using artificial intelligence. I'm actually really excited about this because this is kind of like mind blowing, but we gotta get a cup of tea going. Am I not supposed to be here? <laughs> no, I didn't know you were filming a whole lot YouTube video. We're just gonna hang out. We're gonna chat in this video. So how about you pour yourself a cup of tea as well? Okay. I learned recently that people outside of the States don't boil water on a stove like this for tea. They see it as too much work. They have an electric kettle. I literally just taught John how to make tea, AKA boil water in a teapot. I've been making tea since. And you're still not on an electric kettle? Hmm. I just learned about that. That's strange. <laughs> Cause I'm already ready to evolve. Tea. You could say it. Thank oh. you. You like to keep the bag and the tea. You take it out? Yeah. Well, mine doesn't have like the string to help pull it out. So you have to put your fingers in there. And I'd rather not. <laughs> okay, are we good? Have I disguised most of the mess in my apartment? Hello all, my name is Sarah Dietschy, rhymes with Peachy. If you're new around here today, we have a software showcase. Luminar is sponsoring this video. Luminar AI is a completely new way to think of editing pictures. I've used Luminar 4 a few times and it's a really, really dope photo editing software, but Luminar AI is a completely different program. It's not just an upgrade, it's, it's separate. It does its own unique thing and it's powered by artificial intelligence. Now, I know you're probably like, okay, people say that, it's kind of gimmicky, right? But just wait until you see what it can do to images. So I'm gonna bring in a few albums I took a couple months ago. And I really like how it brings in images because it's super easy to bring in folders or just single images. <laughs> oh my God, I look so goofy in this picture. There's not enough detail because it almost looks like your face is going with your neck. You see that? I'm gonna edit this cute candid of you guys. Look at how cute. We'll start with the templates and this is unique for each picture. As you can see, it just changed there. So scenery, some scenery fixes. Let's see. Editing photos is so much more fun than video because you can like jam out to music and just chill. Oh, well, I just like that. Fast fix, looks good to me. So this is where you can choose all of the templates. As you can see, there's specific ones for portrait, city vibes, all of the vibes. But then you can go over here and edit and get really specific. You have essentials, creative, portrait, and professional. Down here in enhance, this accent enhance slider, it will be your best friend. The foliage enhancer obviously isolates those greens. Golden hour, looks so good. And you know what, we're gonna go into creative and get a little creative with it. Listen, this blown out sky at the top, you know what, we could do better. So check this out, let's go into sky selection. How did it do that? It's just changing out these skies like no one's business. This one probably seems the most natural. Okay, so let's see before and after. My mind is blown. It's super snappy too, super snappy. This. This isn't the beta. So this program comes out on December 15th. So depending on when you are watching this, you can click the pre-order button down below in my description, um, or maybe it's already out, depending on when you're watching. Okay, next picture. Okay, so here's a picture of my parents and I've already done a couple edits, but this is my favorite setting and it's so cool. It's underneath atmosphere and you, you have a few different selections. So from fog to haze, and this is the AI magic where it's using 3D mapping tech, watch this. Watch this. Do you see the fog coming in? But notice it's not happening over the entire picture and then just increasing. No, no, no. It's happening gradually. And as you can tell, it's happening behind our subjects. So again, you don't have to do extra masking, all of that stuff. And something that I immediately think of, when I edit thumbnails for YouTube, the first thing I always do is, well, I get the pen tool and I start 
ticket, 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 ticket. I guess that's the sound effect of the pen tool. I start cutting myself out from the background. So I can either blur the background or increase the brightness, decrease the brightness, because you want your subject to stand out or you just want, you know, a different level of depth. That requires a lot of work, but here is just doing it for you and it's doing it in real time. You can change the depth. So if you see it's going from the trees uh, to the lake, to my parents. Let's just add a little bit here. This guy is definitely gonna need a sky replacement because that white up there, it's all blown out. Blech. Let's see how drama we can get. Ooh, yeah, that's a little bit too much, but it was one click. I'm also just gonna try to get rid of these humans over here. stamp tool and that was a uh, very easy <laughs> okay so before and after and you can tell I didn't even use any of the face tools but already it just looks way less intense it seemed like something I clicked so many things but just smoothed out their faces a little bit just overall it looks so much better I mean geez Louise yeah it basically solved my problem of shooting in really harsh, gross light. Cause now I'm remembering why I didn't even touch these pictures because when I took them, it was like 1 p.m. in the afternoon and the light was terrible. So good to know that pictures like this are savable. Okay, let's go to the Central Park picture, shall we? Let's edit this portrait of John. So for this picture, it identified, oh, it's a portrait. So uh, here are these templates up here. Um, they actually look really great right out the box. I'm actually gonna use this brush up one where it kind of cleans things up, brightens it up, but it doesn't actually adjust his face that much. And I feel like this could be a little bit more moody. This is actually where you can choose a lot. You can load up your own, get some really cool custom looks here. Ooh, I feel like we should use the Manhattan filter since while well, we were in Manhattan, gives it that faded look, so we don't want it all the way up. Okay, this is where I wanna show you some of the really dope portrait AI features. So let's go into face AI. This is something I always do, but again, you have to take the time of masking out the individual faces and then brightening them up. This detects exactly where the face is. Look at that, look at that. I mean, obviously, we're just gonna give it a little bit of a boost like that. There's different tools here to shape the face. I can't believe it just knows where to do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can just change the color of someone's eyes. This is something people do all the time, but manually. They'll basically take the teeth whitening tool, go in, mask it out. And again, this program is about not you laboring over with these different tools, but it's results oriented. It's you pressing a few buttons. And even if you don't want to, having these one click solutions where you just get a result like that. Boom, big difference. Improve eyebrows. Wow. Very impressive. So here you have a natural smooth of the skin. And then finally you have more tools to uh, shape the body of the subject. Just so powerful and automatic. Before, after. So that was an extremely subtle edit. John's skin is much better than mine, so Watch, we'll do a copy and paste and it'll be a huge difference on my face. <laughs> and when I paste the adjustments from the previous picture to this picture, all of the AI adjustments are going to be custom to this picture so quick. Easy. Okay, so the last picture, let's just do a little bit of a speed edit. This is a picture I took on my Q2, something I would post to Instagram. And something super valuable, I think, about Luminar AI is just how fast you can get amazing edits. So if you're a beginner photographer, you're a blogger, Instagrammer, you don't wanna spend hours and hours in editing tutorials, well, uh, this, this is your answer. Okay, so we're gonna let Luminar pick the composition, frame up the shot. I'm gonna go through the different templates. Uh, um, okay, this one looks great. Add a little bit of contrast, make his eyes pop. 
Let's brighten up the eyes a bit. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, that was quick. Export it. Okay, I feel like that was under a minute, yeah? Watch out, Instagram. <laughs> this is exciting because it's just super quick edits, but with a super stellar result. You're not sacrificing anything. And for people who do this as a job, you can make more. You can spend more time on the images that you really care about. There's just so many ways to think about how this can be just another tool in your toolbox and really take your art, take your creativity to the next level. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. It's crazy the level of technology that we're at now that these are things that you spend so much time in software doing manually and it's just it's automatically doing it for each individual image. Super cool. So make sure to check out my link in the description below if you're interested. Um, this was a fun little editing sesh with you guys. Is my tea cold? Yeah super cold by now. So everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me, with us. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. And until next time y'all, stay peachy. Okay, bye. I'm not gonna say this on camera because it'll seem like it's part of the ad, but I'm literally gonna get this. <laughs> Luminar? Yeah. Oh, it's also just a one-time fee, which is great. How much is it? $99. Damn, this is crazy. It's insane.